Hello beach bombs! In this video that I'm about to show you, I went fishing and I had no luck. It was a terrible day for me, I just couldn't catch any fish, but I did notice that there were a ton of blue crabs. So what I did, I went back the next day and I took a dip net and I decided to just scoop them up and get enough to do a crab boil. So regulations for blue crabs in Alabama right now are five inches from spine to spine. And also you can't keep any females that have eggs or also they call them sponge crabs, I believe. So you wanna throw those back immediately. But guys, I'm gonna show you some footage from how my two days went coming up right now. I'm walking the beach this morning looking for flounder, hopefully. We'll see if we can find some. And there are blue crabs everywhere. The water is extremely clear. I mean, and I, I might try to show you some in a minute, but there are just blue crabs <laughs> just walking around everywhere. You could just scoop these jokers up and have a ton of them. But I'll see if I can find some flounder and I'll get back with you if I start hooking some. with me is a net to hopefully catch some of the crabs. I brought a bucket with me. It's got a five gallon bucket and then a ruler for a measuring device. So it should be fun. Pretty easy, pretty simple equipment to bring with you. Let's go find some crabs. Got her first one. It's a female with eggs. So she's going back. five inches. Where'd my roller go? Crap. I found it. I had to walk like a freaking mile <laughs> back. I've been covering some ground. All right, let's measure. Yeah, here. Number six. Awesome. Two right here. I know the winds is killer. Let's see if we can get this first one. Oh, it took off. Oh, they're both taking off. Crap! They saw me! No! Ah. Oh, I think I got him! Oh, I didn't. Crap! That was two! Dang it! Ah. Got him! Ha ha! Ah! She's got eggs! Dang it! We're going back. Go reproduce. Do it. There you go. I got smart on them now. I'm walking like a big circle around them and pushing them back towards the beach instead of pushing them out in deeper water. Should have thought of that at the beginning, but you know, it takes me a second. I'm a little slower than most. Woo! Big wave. Ugh. Legs. See if you make five. Legs. Awesome. Crab number five in the bucket. Well, I got a lot more exercise than I was anticipating. I walked a lot. 
water's real rough so it's a lot harder to spot them and didn't seem to be quite as many around as there was yesterday when i was out here fishing so it was a little tougher to catch them than i thought it would be but still caught five that i was able to keep caught probably six or seven that had eggs so of course i'll release those and then i missed probably another five or six so it was still fun i'd never done this before it was a lot of fun chasing them down trying to catch them so it was a good time i'm going to take them home i'm going to clean them up and i'm going to have to freeze them i'm going to show you what i'm going to do because i'm not going to be able to cook them for the next couple of days because of our schedule so i'm going to show you a, a tip that uh, i'm trying out for the first time i did some research and i think this may be the best way to keep them fresh until we actually do get a chance to cook them so i'll show you that so i'll see you back at the house I've never cleaned a crab before. This will be my first time. Uh, all I've ever done is ever cooked them whole. So I'll see if I can do this. I've watched some videos. It looks pretty simple, but we'll see. Well, that was pretty easy. Just pop that off, peel out the lungs, which I need to get my bucket. Okay, I'm gonna put all the excess waste in this bucket so just peel off the lungs peel this part off the face part or not sure what that part's called but peel that out and spray out the guts there we go actually just peel that off right there All right, cleaned crab, ready to go. I've got our crabs cleaned and all I'm doing right now, I'm not gonna be able to cook these tonight or, or tomorrow. I'm not sure because of our schedule. So I've done some research and what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna actually go ahead and cook the meat and then I'm gonna freeze it. And then we'll use it whenever we get a chance to actually boil them and we'll throw in a bunch of stuff and put all the seasoning in it. But today I'm just gonna boil the crab and then freeze it for the next few days or for the week until we can actually get back to cooking it. So I'll get back to you guys when I do get a chance to cook it up. It's Thursday now. I caught the crabs on Saturday. So I'm trying this out. I cooked them and I froze them and we'll see if they taste good. I will let you know, I'll be honest. I'll be 100% open with you whether or not this turns out okay. So <laughs> I don't know, never done it before. We'll see if the crabs are still tasty but i'm headed to a friend's house now to grab the the pot and the burner or the you know to do the boil i don't have one we're getting a big big pot because we're throwing i only have five crabs but we're going to throw in some shrimp and we're going to throw in potatoes and we're going to throw in some corn and kaneka sausage so we're just going to have some fun and we're going to take it over to a friend's house and just do a big crab boil even though we don't have a whole lot of crabs it should still be a really good time and i'm going to pick that up and we'll get to cooking Here's to not blowing ourselves up. Do it, Dan. <laughs> Woo! Fire! to drop in some seasoning. I've just got some Zatarain's crab boil. Uh, we've also got our potatoes. We've got some lemon. We've got our onions. We've got some garlic in there. We're gonna throw that in first 
It's going to be in there for about eight to ten minutes, and then we'll put in the next stuff. So we're going to drop it in right now. I know it's getting dark out here, so I don't know how well you can see, but we're gonna throw in now our corn and our sausage. It's been about six, eight minutes on the uh, other stuff that we put in the potatoes and onions, so we're gonna roll this, and then the last thing we're gonna put in is gonna be the shrimp and the crab. So can't wait to eat it. Ready to put it in my stomach. Do the best we can with what we got. We're ready for the final ingredients, our crab. You can see it, our crab and our shrimp. Got a few more minutes on this and we'll be ready to eat it up. We're gonna put in just a little bit of vinegar, like two tablespoons, just to help make the crabs a little easier to peel. And we're gonna let this sit. We've turned off the boil. We're gonna let it sit for five, 10 minutes and we should be ready to go. All right, guys, everything is ready to go. I have not tried our crab yet, so I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna give, give you my 100% honest answer whether or not this turned out okay. So we're gonna give it a shot. Dip it in some butter, that's the best way to do it. Here it goes. Guys, it tastes great. <laughs> I'm, I'm not lying, it's good? It's good. Yeah. It's good. It good? Yeah. It's good, okay. So if you're ever in the same situation that I'm in where you're not gonna be able to cook your crab fresh, Go ahead and cook it up and then stick it in the freezer. It tastes great. I know a lot of you guys are gonna to totally disagree and murder me in the comments for that, but I promise it tastes great, guys. But this is what it's about. This is what I love doing, doing stuff outdoors, hanging out with friends, having a good time. That's what it's all about, guys. So I appreciate you watching. I've got more videos coming your way. And as always, y'all wanna say it with me? Stay, Stay boomy! boomy.